to create a video center for video. Huh? Can you put little bit SWD coming center? Center? Or? Because yeah. the rack is coming, that's why I just put like this. Maybe keep it little bit. Yeah, it's starting to come. Om Jnana Timirandhasya Jnana Jnana Salakaya Chakshura Militam Gena Tasma Shri Gurave Namaha Sri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Stapitam Mena Bhotale Swayam Rupa Katam Ajham Dadupapadantikam Vandeham Shri Guru Sri Yuta Padakamalam Sri Guru Vaishnavamsya Sri Rupam Sagajatam Sahagana Raghunathan Vritam Tam Sajeevam Sajaitam Savadhutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Rajita Shri Vishaka Anvitamsya Among Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Nitinamine Namaste Saraswati Deve Goravani Pracharine Nirvise Shakunyavadi Pachyatya Deshacharine Panchakal Padrajyascha Krupa Sindhu Bevacha Paditanam Pavane Pyo Vaishnavi Pyo Namo Namaha E Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Vandhu Jagatpade Gopi Jagopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostate Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrinda Vaneshwari Rajvam Sate Devi Pradamami Haritpri Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadara Shri Vartavi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare <coughs> Hare Krishna. Can you please let me know if uh, the voice is clear? Yes, please. So I welcome you all to our systematic study of Vedic scriptures in that we are uh, going to chapter 13. Chapter 13 is the chapter that is signifying the importance of Jnana, uh, the knowledge. And Lord explains So Lord explains in this to Arjuna what is real knowledge? Because usually we think that knowledge is something which helps us to know new things for our good. Uh, usually there is a lot of newspapers which give us knowledge. And one of the reasons why people go to the newspapers is that they want to be up to date. They want to know what is happening in the world. And what is the reason for that? If we see one reason is that to secure himself. How can I make best of what is happening in the world? Huh? If someone is saying there is a Bhagavad Sapta that is happening, not everyone is so interested. That's why usually this doesn't go into the headlines. If you see in the newspaper, the headlines is what about crime. Or, what is the other thing? How to make more money? Entertainment. Uh, there are magazines, mm -hmm. articles, which are telling about how to make more wealth. Mm -hmm. uh, the term could look like economic times, but actually in economic times, it's more about how to make more money. Economic means is actually like, okay, how to live a simplistic life. Mm -hmm. uh, because then we clearly know, okay, this is what I have, this is what I need to save, this is what I need to use. But rather what we use the same economic times is for what? To accrue a lot of, lot of, lot of wealth. And some people may think, hey, I'm already, I don't care, yeah. I am already rich, I have a lot of money. I don't need economic times. What they do is they go into more hobby. Huh? They go to sports articles. They will look into that. And in that way, what is happening is a lot of knowledge. A lot of knowledge is on one side bombarded and there are also people who want to take benefit of it. And some people 
also read newspaper why because there is genuine interest to know something until we really find what is that we keep on reading but what is happening is because when we are reading the vishaya uh, the the subject matter which is about material life sometimes it bewilders us sometimes it makes us curious uh, because of, uh, ultimately when you know something what is the outcome of it why do we read newspaper or why do we want to know more things so that we are in the end happy we want to have a very happy life that is the reason why we read after reading a newspaper especially today's news uh, people are disgusted what kind of world we are living in uh, there is child abuse there is women abuse there is that this so many political things that are happening uh, after such a disgusting feeling ha huh, the day starts with that right mm-hmm. what can we expect after that mm-hmm. we think hey we think that as if like hey world is no more in my control mm-hmm. as if like we would have done great things mm-hmm. then what we do is we after gather all these details we simply sit then say hey, we can discuss now because after all i am now knowledgeable uh, this is what i am thinking as knowledge mm-hmm. i know about science mm-hmm. i know about social i know about political i know about so uh, sports mm-hmm. and when we put all of these things then we think oh uh, after all i know a lot mm-hmm. uh, this happens especially when we see uh, the corporate world when people are coming together uh, this is usually happens when people come together there will be some guy who will just start showing that he knows a lot mm-hmm. yeah he will start telling you know uh, modi ji did a very good thing mm-hmm. uh, and then everyone will start talking about that mm-hmm. and the people who don't know also think oh this is very important i need to know you will go and start hearing mm-hmm. after two days this guy will come and start telling more because he want to show that he knows more mm-hmm. huh? mm-hmm. and then the guy who already was showing off he doesn't want to compromise right after all mm-hmm. huh? he is so much absorbed involved in it and he knows a lot he start saying no 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 oh what you are saying is uh, don't don't read this newspaper read this newspaper mm-hmm. i have read all the newspapers about this mm-hmm. and in the end what happens what happens in the end after discussing nothing happens mm-hmm. what is the gain we get when we come together and discuss about mundane things mm-hmm. it's of no use mm-hmm. why because that is not considered to be knowledge for liberation mm-hmm. that is called knowledge for attachment because we are attached to it we are getting more and more entangled whereas the knowledge for liberation people don't want that's why we don't see so many articles mm-hmm. when propad was going and giving uh, at that age back to godred magazines mm-hmm. how many were taking does it mean that there was no culture of reading news no mm-hmm. yeah they were flooding with lot of news about uh, geopolitical situations that were happening about freedom uh, and after freedom what is happening what politician has done what Yeah, sorry, I'm audible. <clears throat> so we consider after some time that hey, this is all knowledge, but Krishna is saying to Arjuna that this is not knowledge. Whatever which is not this, uh, just understand it is not knowledge. Why? Because whatever we try to know, learn, and everything is only keeping us attached. Even if we take scientists. they are advancing in science but they are also building what attachment so they think hey uh science was just this now it's uh now in 21st century we are here uh just we are close to the roof just close which means we are almost perfect after that one thing that we find how to live eternally then we are successful all religions are telling people will die one day or the other but science will make sure that uh, we live forever mm-hmm. for that matter we are going to uh, moon we are going to mars we will go to venus uh, we will go to jupiter even if it is far what uh, come on mm-hmm. we have resources we have people who are funding in this curious thing and then we do uh, make some nice photos and then prove it mm-hmm. uh, we don't know from which planet or which city or they will make a photo mm-hmm. and uh, but then we start thinking because when we 
when i did something i always have this desire that i i want to prove my huh, that i did it so that name and fame will come when name and fame will come what will happen people start thinking i am great and yes of, of course yeah we are finding something doesn't mean that we are really great we are great only when we find who we are and that is what chapter 13 is telling chapter 13 is about to know who am i it is no not to know about uh, the world of a uh, 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 place for enjoyment it is a place of reformation yeah it is not that we want to say hey this material world is illusion this material world is something uh, maya so we should we should be free from it yeah uh, how to get free is just to go to the forests how long can we stay in a forest as soon as we hungry we want to come home as soon as we uh, want to take rest we want to come home huh? so going to the forest is not the means but even if we go to the forest what is that we are looking we should have clarity huh? and that clarity is what in 13th chapter uh, lord krishna is explaining to arjun the glories of Bhag- uh, bhagavad gita is said in padma puran uh, especially there is this um, uh, gita mahatmya and in that for every chapter there is a very nice uh, past time or a story connected to it how each of this chapters of bhagavad gita had a deeper impact and attain uh, there are who attain perfection and for the 13th chapter which is relating to tell about the knowledge there is this uh, <clears throat> nice story where there is one uh, uh, a woman who is yeah not very chaste uh, a kind of slut lady and then she was uh, looking for a a guy uh, so so that she can enjoy and she happens to be uh, coming to a place where <clears throat> she uh, comes to a forest and in the forest there is a tiger and the tiger says oh i i would have left her free if she was of a good character but yeah because of her character yeah anyway tiger mm-hmm. eats so and then this lady dies or is killed in the hands of tiger and then next life uh, after going through all the hell uh, hells raurava and all the places where the hot iron rods are pierced into the body for what what kind of sins that she has performed she is born as a chandalini in her next life and chandalini we know that who is a um, yeah in the race or in the cult or in the tribe of a, uh, what do you call this uh, meat eaters Oh, considered very very low class and because of her past sins uh, because of that there is also this karmic reactions and in this life uh, in as chandalini she uh, had a lot of diseases uh, because of which she didn't kept well herself and uh, then uh, somehow somehow Uh, this chandalini comes across a brahman uh, and uh, yeah this brahman uh, is speaking with chapter 13 and what is chapter 13 is all about we are not this body uh, when this knowledge is passed on by the brahman to chandalini she attained success yeah in spite of her past life in spite of her sins uh, sinful reactions uh, even in this life she was uh, in, in very very uh, downtrodden life but because she heard to chapter 13 from this brahman she attained uh, perfection why because it is in itself science uh, gyana yoga gyana yoga is explaining about <clears throat> who 
I am I and what is this body? Uh, and Krishna is uh, explaining, of course, we'll go in through the purport uh, of this chapter, uh, last verse, and then uh, we'll go further into this topic. I'll just open. Let me know if you guys can see my screen. क्षेत्र क्षेत्र अंतर ज्ञान चक्षुषा भूत प्रकृति मोक्षम चे विदो या परम रीडिंग वर्ड वर्ड ऑल्सो क्षेत्र ऑफ द बॉडी क्षेत्र ज्ञान ऑफ द प्रोपरेटर ऑफ द बॉडी एवं दस अंतर द डिफरेंस ज्ञान चक्षुषा बाय द विजन ऑफ नॉलेज भूत ऑफ द लिविंग एंटिटी प्रकृति फ्रॉम मेटेरियल नेचर मोक्षम द लिबरेशन चक ऑल्सो ये दोज हु विदु नो यांति अप्रोच ते दे परम द सुप्रीम ट्रांसलेशन गोस लाइक दिस दोज हु सी विथ आइस ऑफ नॉलेज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द बॉडी एंड द नोअर ऑफ द बॉडी एंड कैन ऑल्सो अंडरस्टैंड द प्रोसेस ऑफ लिबरेशन फ्रॉम बॉन्डेज इन मेटेरियल नेचर attained to the supreme goal barfat i'll just read out the purpose of this 13th chapter is that one should know the distinction between the body the owner of the body and the super soul one should recognize the process of liberation as described in the verses 8 through 12 then one can go on to the supreme destination a faithful person should at first have some good association to hear of god and thus gradually become enlightened if one accepts a spiritual master one can learn to distinguish between matter and spirit and that becomes the stepping stone for further spiritual realization a spiritual master by various instructions teaches his students to get free from the material concept of life For instance, in Bhagavad Gita, we find Krishna instructing Arjuna to free him from materialistic consideration. One can understand that this body is matter. It can be analyzed with its twenty-four elements. The body is the gross manifestation, and the subtle manifestation is the mind and psychological effects. And the symptoms of life are interaction of these features. But over and above this. there is the soul and there is also the super soul the soul and the super soul are two this material world is working by the conjunction of the soul and the 24 material elements one who can see the constitution of the whole material manifestation as this combination of the soul and material elements can also see the situation of the supreme soul becomes eligible for transfer to the spiritual world these things are mentioned are meant for contemplation for realization and one should have a complete understanding of this chapter with the help of the spiritual master thus end the bhakti vedanta purport to the 13th chapter of shrimad bhagavad gita in the matter of nature the enjoyer and consciousness so that is the purpose when we acquire knowledge uh, the knowledge should be to get free from bhuta prakriti moksham cha uh, freedom from material existence how can we get that is by understanding what is kshetra the body kshetragna the super uh, the soul and there is also another kshetragna uh, who is supreme soul or even called super soul and what is the nature is he can know the activities of not only one uh, body what is happening in me but also he can know about everything that is there 
everything that is existing and this knowledge is given in this 13th chapter and there is this yeah we we spent good number of uh, sessions about uh, this particular you know, what is knowledge amanitvam adambitvam ahimsa kshantarajavam acharyo pasanam saucham sthairyam atma vinigraha indrite indriyeshu vairagyam ahankara evacha janma mrityu jara vyadi dukha dosha anudarshanam ashaktir anabishpanga putradara grahadishu nityam cha sama chittatvam ishta ani shtopa patishu mai cha anya e yoga ha yogena bhaktir avyavicharini vivikta desha sevitvam aratir jana samsadi adhyatma jnana nityatvam tattva jnana artha darshanam eta jnanam idi proktam agnanam yat aho ato anyatha so there's a whole list and the most uh, uh, first one is humility our major problem of not able to understand this gyan is because of humil- uh, lack of humility because of feeling that i already know a lot and because i think that i know a lot what we tend to do is we don't give a damn if someone is saying if someone is saying hey this is what you have to do we say i know everything from my childhood i have been breathing the air of bhagavatam ha ah, bhagavatam is coming all the time uh, to my ears uh, after all scriptures are saying uh, what is that shruti shravadam i have been hearing uh, but why is it not transforming when we are hearing it should also transform yes i am transformed yeah because how i think i know a lot now but that transformation will bind us why because it is saying that humility is the quality that one should have and when we lack this quality of humility what we tend to think is i know everything and when i know everything i don't uh, attend satsang when i know everything why should i come after all of course if you call me to speak i will come but if i have to hear to you why should i come and then there is this uh, pride oh i because of me on everything is happening now when we have this pride feeling uh, it's called a kind of a ride on a tiger we don't want that we don't want to ride on a tiger it's very dangerous why because it's so cool right so the tiger is uh, but so dangerous at any moment when it's hungry it doesn't have to go anywhere and violence when we talk about violence the the most affected people out of violence is who our own self uh, because of violence what we are doing we are creating disturbance to whom first to us we are thinking oh we are want to win over someone and then we are ready with word with uh, sword and everything but uh, yeah we see so many wars that are happening in the world today and all these wars are happening for what power or to keep up one's pride or all these whereas Bhag- bhagavad gita krishna is saying just be humble come on if i become hum- humble people will make fun of me people will exploit me people will uh, um, i will be exploited yeah basically uh, no I, i can't be humble uh, no if you are not humble then what is happening krishna is saying hey all this all this i declare to be knowledge and besides this whatever there may be is ignorance so not ha- not being humble is ignorance why because humbleness will liberate us hmm? pridelessness non violence tolerance simplicity approaching a bona fide spiritual master cleanliness steadiness self control all these are great qualities and not only qualities this is all about knowledge see we don't have to read newspaper every day if we read this one article every day mm-hmm. that's it life is successful and when we when we see uh, maybe i need to have charger uh, <clears throat> 
So if we see in this uh, particular uh, verse, we see that the whole purport is mentioned, which means it's not an ordinary verse, uh, especially in the fast, fast track world where we don't have so much time. Come on, Bhagavad Gita, oh, so many verses, uh, 18 chapters. Lord himself is saying Bhagavad Gita is very special. Why? Because he is saying, uh, is Bhagavad Gita a personal manifestation or an impersonal manifestation of the Lord? Can someone guess? Is it his personal manifestation or impersonal manifestation? Personal manifestation means having form. What is the form of Bhagavad Gita? Uh, I understood what do you mean by personal manifestation means Lord personally spoke. No, no that's not personal manifestation. <laughs> personal manifestation means which has a personal form. Huh? Yeah. It is said that Bhagavad Gita, uh, the Lord Himself is saying, uh, the first five chapters of Bhagavad Gita are constitute my head, uh, five heads uh, of the Lord. And then the next chapters, uh, there are ten chapters uh, which constitute His ten arms. Then there is next chapter, uh, how many are already over? Five plus ten, ten are over. Then the next 16 is his stomach mm -hmm. and then remaining two are his legs. Mm -hmm. So which means Bhagavad Gita, uh, Lord himself, he say, he's saying that this Bhagavad Gita constitutes my form. So it's not impersonal. Mm -hmm. Hmm. And then if you see here, refer back to this. The conclusion of knowledge is mentioned in this chapter. That is one great thing. And in the last, what is the conclusion? He said, these things are meant for contemplation, for realization. And now I'm very, very, uh, we, we come across some people who read newspaper, will they contemplate after all? No. Why? Because it's going here, it's going here. Uh, contemplating is to do what? To realize, oh, that guy made messed up his life, I should not do that. I should take my own self-care hmm? and then have a complete understanding of this chapter with the help of spiritual master. Uh, in today's world, everything is what? Self-healing, self-teaching. Uh, so everyone is considering self-gurus. Uh, I, I can become guru of my own self. This is what science is making us, the material science, what is making us? If I have a question, am I coming to you? No. Science makes us me, oh, go to Google. Uh, you put anything, how much do you know? Uh, do you know more than Google? Hmm? How much do I know? Uh, come on, we think that, hey, Google has everything, let's go to Google. It has also, uh, if you search for Bhagavatam, Bhagavatam is also there in Google, right? So why should I come to you? What is so great about you that I have to come to you? Google cannot realize. Google is a place where it is only pushing all the data. Now it leaves again to you. Just like Krishna told everything to Arjuna and he left it. Hey Arjun, now you have to take action. Google is not telling that. Google is just showing everything, huh? just as like an oracle. You open these days, those days oracle, you know, right? Oracle, after, after you open it, whatever you want to see, you can see. Uh, Google is really making like that, isn't it? Whatever I have uh, thought, if I want like this, it will show like that. If I don't want like that, it will show like that. Everything, as well as Google is what we actually want. But what is Google making? It's providing so much information, but where is the transformation? It is not going to say, hey, you do this, you. It can at the most say what? It can recommend pages. Uh, in the first page, it will have 10 
search results it will only recommend is it instructing us no when our faith increases on this google we accept it as instruction and follow it what is the guarantee that we follow then we are successful huh? in the world of artificial intelligence where is the natural intelligence uh, we think natural intelligence is risky these days uh, how can i trust you how much do you know how can i trust you yeah your intelligence is very little but i can trust artificial intelligence because it has the mechanism it has the power to churn across so many things uh, satish prabhu uh, now when then there are some disasters we say come on we are there already 99% only 1% failures are okay after all uh, uh, humans are they perfect rather than that we are more perfect so in that way what we are doing is that we are just thinking uh, that we can make everything without a guru but krishna directly is saying we need a spiritual master we need a spiritual master why because he has already uh, तद विद्य प्रणिपातेन परिप्रश्नेन सेवया उपदेशन्ति ते ज्ञानम ज्ञानिनस तत्व दक्षिणः दैट नॉलेज व्हाट एवर वी वांट इवन अप्लाइड नॉलेज व्हाट वी कॉल द विज्ञान हु कैन गिव अस गुरु एंड जस्ट लाइक कृष्णा इज गुरु ऑफ अर्जुन वेयर ही इज एनलाइटनिंग अर्जुन इन द बैटल फील्ड वी आर आल्सो इन आवर लाइफ इन अ बैटल फील्ड व्हाट इज द बैटल फील्ड गेटिंग अप अर्ली इन द मॉर्निंग is also already, it starts already there uh, and then okay after alarm which is waking me up uh, i have regularized but what to do afterwards i don't know let me open a paper read no guru is saying what is this by doing this you are just getting entangled there's so many people yeah who have become richy rich they have earned a lot what what is the what is the worth of it there is no worth of it the guru is telling Uh, guru is not just recommending only but he is instructing saying that we should not go behind that why because we are not this body why because krishna said and who is krishna come on after all who is krishna who is krishna adi guru and you see balaram yeah is adi guru krishna who is krishna वसुदेवसुतम देव कंसचानुरमर्दन देवकी परमन कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गु ओके एंड गूगल कैन नॉट रिप्लेस कृष्ण वॉट एवर इट कैन डू वॉट एवर साइंस कैन डू इट कैन नॉट रिप्लेस कृष्ण वॉट एवर दिस मेटीरियल एडवांसमेंट वॉट एवर दिस आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस ऑल दिस थिंग्स आर देर इट इज एन अटेम्प्ट टू डू वॉट to attain that perfection that we can take shelter of guru as long as that is done it's okay otherwise there is no use of all of these things why krishna is saying this is the real knowledge all other things are not and then very important in this verse is also mentioned how the process works faithful persons should have some good association hearing in good association and accept a spiritual master uh, these are three things that are mentioned uh, propa is saying is saying that faithful person should have some good association with good association what happens we tend to uh, benefit just like if someone is in uh, good consultation uh, he will benefit if someone is in a bad association then he will get bad counseling and bad consultation and ev- eventually what will happen he becomes more uh disturbed and then he will have no taste for hearing uh, so as all those bad qualities will be more dominating mm-hmm. there is small call that is coming from the heart that hey no you should not do this come on no 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 there are so many everyone is doing this let me also do it Uh, don't we have this uh, peer pressure mm-hmm. everyone is doing that nonsense huh what is so wrong if i do it mm-hmm. if i don't do 
then I am disturbance. If I don't do, then I am wrong. Rather, na, uh, I get used to it. This is this is if someone had started their uh, what is this um, taking alcohol. Uh, first week, how can people drink this? It's so horrible. Uh, it doesn't taste well. It is very bitter. And after drinking, feel like vomiting. Uh, no, after two times, three times, they say they start telling, mm -hmm. hey. If you are coming from abroad, bring me this brand. If you are coming from here, you do that. Or, <clears throat> you know, I have a gallery of all this uh, collection of uh, what I have tasted. In that, you know, this red wine is, it's from France, which is just, no, for it, sorry, from South Africa, which is just, um, yeah, 10 years old, the best. Huh? And you know what, again, in that we take, you know what, huh? my friend has gifted me. Even in that, there is, uh, um, there is this, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says that exchange gifts. So what is that gift that exchange is happening? I am giving you wine, you give me uh, some other some other thing. And in that way, what is happening? Who is benefiting? No one. So this is what happens, right? Uh, I don't know if you have seen some, uh, uh, some, life learning experiences with your friends and uh, circle I, I i know i know few where the person just comes for studying to abroad he comes here and then his wings start opening and then his wings are becoming so big so big as if like hey now i'm self-independent i can fly like anything and then what happens when the wings are expanding more <coughs> then you start thinking hey if someone is offering, you say, hey, I'm independent now. Is there my parents? No one is seeing me. I can do whatever I want. And then, very simple. Hey, no, At least in, in India, there is pressure. If my neighbor sees, they may tell to my parents and my parents may. Huh? Here, no one is there to complain. No one is there to, huh? no problem. Now I'm fully in. Then he starts saying, okay, he goes with his friends. After all, we have to socialize, right? We are social beings. Let us go to uh, some small... Uh, party. I will not drink. Come on. I am from my childhood. I never drank. And now uh, uh -huh. I am with friends and friends. Obviously, on a Friday night, if you go there, what will they give? They will give you halwa prashad. <laughs> no, right? <laughs> they will give you uh, they will give you more so that you can forget yourself and uh, yeah, become more shameless and yeah, can be part of it. What is that? Alcohol. No, 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 no. I came here only just to, because you are my friend, you called me. Oh, no, no, no. And next Friday again you go. And after our next Friday, what you start doing? Hey, this is nice. Uh, someone is not on mute still. Check. Uh, and then what happens with this? Uh, then, oh, you know, not only boys come to the parties, girls also come to the party. Uh, and then this attraction builds more. That, oh, every Friday I should make it. We don't go to Sunday temple every Sunday, <laughs> but every Friday. After all, Monday to Friday I've been working, uh, chilling out a bit is okay. And then what is happening? This very pure soul who has been taught all those great things in his uh, childhood, in his village and everything, once he comes to city, then he forgets everything. What is happening? He is deeply absorbed in what? Maya. Now if you tell it is Maya, he says, I like this Maya. <laughs> right? After all, this is what he wanted. And this is what he wanted and he is getting it. And as long as he keeps getting it, he thinks, oh, this is giving me happiness. And of course, sometimes uh, there is this, um, it is said that uh, a male donkey is behind a, a female donkey. And what is happening is, yeah, this female donkey beats this male donkey now and then and then still ah, okay but still <laughs> ah, life is so nice that is okay ah, one time beating is fine ah, who is not having it i can see that that she donkey has beaten the he donkey ah, <laughs> for me also it's okay and in this business of ah, uh, accommodating this beating ah, ill treatment we think it's okay that's what we have ah. whereas krishna is saying no we should approach a spiritual master to do what? To get enlightenment. Uh, 
it. Having a guru is not a cool thing where we think, okay, guru is there, so nice. Yeah. Because when Krishna is telling to have a guru, huh, I have a guru now, what we should do? We should have a good association. The two things very important. One is guru who tells what is what, huh, that I am not the kshetra, I am only kshetra again. This is what the whole chapter, if you see, is very nice. And that is the reason uh, Prabhupada in Purport is saying we should contemplate on it. The more and more we contemplate, then we start understanding, oh, so far I am living actually in a dream. I have been thinking I am this, I am that, I am this body, I am so and so. But when we contemplate more and more, we understand I am not this, I am not this hand, I am not this leg, I am not this body. Huh? And then, uh, are you crazy? You are not this body. Hmm? If in, in the police station, huh? mm -hmm. if I ask, hey, who is, who is Gaur Bhagwan? Ah, he says, no, I am not Gaur Bhagwan. <laughs> huh? Or he says, okay, huh? he says, who is Gaur Bhagwan? He lifts his hand, yeah, after all. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And then, okay, come and uh, sit in the chair, you have done something. You say, hey, I myself, I don't know where I am. How can I, how can you put me in the jail? Mm. Uh, then he saying, ah, what is happening? Uh, I've been thinking that you are this body, right? Is there something in, el anything else other than the body? No, our understanding is everything is body. Mm. But when we, with the support of scriptures, with the support of spiritual master, with the support of good association, we can come to this understanding. And it's not a one day business. It has to have a happen every day business. Every day when we do this, then what is happening is actually we come to this understanding that I am not this body. Even now, today also, while we are sitting, we still have this doubt, right? How does it... How is that I am not this body? After all, I am seeing myself in a mirror. What am I seeing? Hmm? What do I see in the mirror? Do I see me or do I see my body? What do you see? Me, me in body. <laughs> you see me in your body. Huh? If you see some horror movies now, you can also see yourself. In the mirror, <laughs> this, is, this is typical. Any horror movie you take now, what will happen is that soul, na, that soul will be seen in the mirror. Huh? So go in front of the mirror. Huh? And if you see ourselves like that, huh? not with the body. Then we can see, oh, I am spirit soul. No, that's not the way. How can we understand? Is by eliminating. Because this body is made of 24 elements. Huh? There is water in this body. Okay, that is material. There is bone or earth. Earthly element that is there. Remove that. There is fire element that is there. Remove that. There are sense organs there. So when we start removing all these things, neti, 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 and then that way when we remove all these 24 elements, still I am existing. We can't see that existence, right? But what we can do? We understand that, yeah, after removing everything, still there is something through which we are living. That is actually I am. Hmm? So Krishna is saying that, uh, through that process of filtering out, we can really come to that understanding. Otherwise, there is no other way. And when we, when we uh, cannot do this exercise, uh, approaching a spiritual master, uh, recognize the process of liberation, then one can go to the supreme destination. Analyze the body with 24 elements. Then analyze soul and super soul as separate. Our challenge already is there where we are struggling to understand who am I beyond this body or within this body. That itself is a struggle. Mm -hmm. Now, can we really see the super soul? Mm -hmm. But then how, how can we see super soul? Soul I can't see. Uh, is there a chance to see the super soul? Uh, anyone in the, in the group here? How can we see the super soul? Uh, Krishna said how to see soul, right? What did he say? Filter out. That way then you can see the soul. What about super soul? You can see the super soul, 
You can see the super soul after death. How? Say again, I didn't understand. Sorry. Can you say again? Am I audible? Am I audible? Can can someone speak? I am just ch changing this uh, speaker setting. I can't hear. Sorry. Okay, can I go back to you? Hello, can someone speak now? I can hear now. Anyway, so. Um, <clears throat> Can you repeat, please, what you were saying? Uh -huh. Okay. Sanoj Prabhu? Yeah, Hare Krishna. Sorry, Kanoj Prabhu. How? Can you justify, please? I think what you are telling is not a super soul, you are telling about uh, great souls. Yeah, So there is a lot of difference between great soul and a super soul. Huh? It is, it is, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, so we are talking about Paramatma, we are not talking about Mahatma. So Mahatma, as you said, huh, great uh, realized hmm, Vaishnavas, huh, saints. They are great uh, because they are always absorbed in uh, devotion. Yeah. Now we are talking about Paramatma. Yeah. Anyone else? I see Parninder uh, Mataji, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think we saw us on uh, Padra Purnima. Hare Krishna. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Anyone else? Hare Krishna.
Sagar Prabhu still talking. So that uh, he will be granted to see the super soul. This is my understanding. Or else it's simply not possible for the senses to... Yeah. Sagar Prabhu, can you repeat the last line? Because uh, I was changing my audio setting. Okay. No, uh, what I was saying is, uh, once that uh, Bhakti is... Uh, uh, if, 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 yeah, the, the Ardha and Thama has to be performed with Dharma as a background and then each each karya is then turned into uh, uh, the is turned into bhakti uh, if it's done with the purity of mind and with that bhakti as it uh, enhances uh, the Lord himself has to uh, grant mm-hmm. the bishops uh, seeing Showing himself, uh, okay. that is the only possibility I understood. So, you mean, or else it's simply not possible. Yeah, so the Lord has to reveal, then we can see him, right? Exactly. So, he has to give that power. Yes. And, to person. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. And if you see uh, in this, there's a very important verse which is what? Huh? What Chakshu do we need? It's mentioned here. Kshetra Kshetra Nayor Evam Antaram. Uh, so, if we want to understand the difference between the soul and the super soul, what do we need? Uh, jnana Chakshu. Usually, right from our childhood, we are being used to seeing things with our eyes. And whatever we see, we believe. Sometimes, even if they are not correct, we, we believe and we make mistakes. Hmm. Yeah, this is what uh, it is in the Srimad Bhagavatam first verse uh, Janmadi Asya Yato Anvayad uh, Itaras Cha Atheshva uh, Abhigna Swarat and then comes uh, Tejavari Brahma Hrida uh, Adikave Muhyanti Yat Surayha. Then comes in the third line, it's mentioned um, what is that? Uh, Tejavari uh, Mridam uh, Yatha Vinimayo. Uh, yatra Trisarga Amrisha Because of the three uh, Because of the material world where we are living There are these three modes of material nature And then what is happening is we are bewildered We are illusioned Just like the example what is given is Tejo Vari Mridam uh, Because of that Sometimes we see as if like there is fire But it's not fire uh, When we see right on a hot road there is no fire, uh, but we see some fumes. Or there is mirage, but there is no mirage. So all these illusory things are happening and we tend to think uh, because of this uh, reality, but it's not real. And as you were saying, when it comes, when we use our right power to see, what is it? What is it? Jnana Chakshu. That is why we see 13 chapters all are talking about Jnana Yoga. And the last verse that Krishna is speaking here is about what? We need what? Divine vision. What is that divine vision? Based on knowledge. And what is that knowledge? The knowledge is to know what? To differentiate between Kshetra and Kshetragnya. That when we come to understanding of the difference between the body and the owner of the body. Hmm? Hmm. This is already one thing. Then the second level is what? Again, to differentiate between that two kinds of Kshetra, Kshetragnya yor. What are they two? One is the soul and the super soul. And now how can we understand that there is a super soul? How can we understand? When we understand that we are only remembering now only what happened in this life. Uh, whatever has happened, uh, because we are present in this body, in this life we know only about that. But what about that has happened in the past life? That super soul is knowing. And because of that, he is punishing us. Because of that, he is rewarding us. Huh? 
through the activity what are the activities of the super soul what is that uh, there is whole description in the same chapter saying that he is upadrashta anumanta hmm? and uh, also eternal uh, he is eternal all these so through that just like how we have there is a process that krishna is saying to understand who am i there is also a process describing to understand who is that paramatma in this chap that is the reason this chapter is so nice because this gives the complete understanding beyond which we don't need anything to support ourselves for bhakti because one way is uh, uh, sagar prabhu when he was saying that uh, the lord reveals right when we come to the stage then by process of bhakti but even to come to bhakti we should understand who we are and that is the reason why why i was asking this question is there are two ways of seeing this paramatma one way is what through gyana chakshu huh? but we can also see the paramatma with this eyes why because the same paramatma who is inside the heart he is manifesting as spiritual master there is no difference between the spiritual master and the paramatma which means it is so important for us to understand paramatma and the lord is so merciful he is arranging so that he is directing us from within he is instructing us from outside ha uh, sagar prabhu when we remember recollect this uh, yesterday's conversation the importance of having a teacher importance of having a guru who is correcting uh, from inside when we are not able to understand he himself is appearing in front and He is instructing how we should deal with our life. Yeah, isn't it so wonderful? Yeah, it's very wonderful because the Lord is also now. It's not people usually say people say that Lord has casted all the people in this uh, planet Earth as if like He has casted to hell, and there is no uh, no other thing. Lord is in uh, just as if imagine like seeing from top and enjoying what is happening. Hmm? no he is providing the means of how to get out of it if if we behave well we have a we have a chance to get out if we don't behave well okay cycle is on so this chapter huh, of course next chapter will give even more detail yeah this is a this is only a giving who we are and who is the lord and all this understanding next chapter is is so nice huh? we are talking about that elements huh? which is about three modes of material nature huh? when we understand this body further detail then we understand okay how much soul is suffering because of this misidentification so this all this bhagavad gita is such a wonderful means for us through which we can sail out of this sansar and uh, this uh, life of suffering why because we know that oh i am the soul i know that i am not alone huh? there is parmatma who can support me hmm? to get out of this all problems so <clears throat> we need to develop this gyana chakshu huh? and how to do that again as uh, sagar prabhu was mentioning yeah bhakti it's not like i will start bhakti after i know everything this is also people tend to do na as soon as sitting in katha and hearing and doing and all this so nice but as soon as when we talk about service then immediately question will come ah, okay service is bhakti come on i am uh, what krishna is saying develop gyana chakshu when we have this gyana chakshu then krishna is saying you are perfect already we don't need to do any bhakti right huh? did krishna say bhakti here he said and hmm, oh sorry krishna is saying here those who see with eyes of knowledge the difference between the body and the knower of the body and can also understand the process of liberation from bondage in the middle attain to the supreme goal he is saying the supreme goal what else do we need this is what right goal we have set our ultimate goal what is that this is attained by what just by differentiating the body and the soul for that what is required did krishna say bhakti he said only what 
डिवाइन नॉलेज द विजन विच इज फिल्ड थ्रू नॉलेज हाँ पार्थ प्रभु Uh, for that we don't have to go to Golokda and then see Paramatma. Uh, Paramatma is there already here, inside you. Uh. Yes, Prabhu. Anyway, I'll stop here. Are there any questions, comments, additions? Subtraction, I can't do it. It's recorded. <laughs> Yeah, one second. Someone raised hand. Yeah, Jai Shri Mataji. Prabhu Ji, any question? Yes. Hmm. Yes, in Bhagavad Gita, uh, I also uh, read once uh, that in Bhagavad Gita, the uh, uh, Bhagwan told uh, told that uh, the Krishna Lord Krishna told uh, told that the uh, super soul reside in your uh, heart. so in the in the verse number 23 of the same chapter it is mentioned yeah uh, upadrishta anumantascha uh, bharta bhukta maheshwara paramatmeti chapi ukto dehasmin purusha para yeah yet in this body there is another a transcendental enjoyer who is the lord the supreme proprietor who ex- exists as a overseer and permitter and who is known as the super soul yeah Yeah, yeah. Nice. That I listen in my lecture. Yeah. Thank you, Madam. And this also reminds me of one, one. Um, uh, what do we call? Another uh, way we call out Paramatma is Chaitya Guru. Yeah. So Paramatma inside our heart, he is also Chaitya Guru. He is uh, inspiring and directing from within. Uh, that's why he is called Chaitya Guru. And this Chaitya Guru, yeah. When, as you said, when we have a longing that I want to serve, yeah. At the moment, Paramatma, if he is in heart, how can I render service? Yeah. Inside our heart, yeah, we can't offer service. But when we have the desire to serve, hmm, when we have this desire to serve, then what happens? Then he manifests. Uh, just like when we talk about Radha Ramanji, uh, Gopal Bhatta Goswami had desire to uh, do Shringar. Uh, to the shalakram shila that he got and the lord is pleased and he manifested himself in this beautiful uh, shri radha raman ji and gopal bhatta goswami could uh, uh, offer services so the desire to serve the guru how can we get that he is the guru uh, inside of our heart he manifests himself and then and then guru is not taking service for himself uh, balaram ji who is adi guru He is not taking all the services for himself. What is he doing? He is arranging everything for the pleasure of the Lord. Uh, which means he is using this uh, sand, brick, everything, and making what temple. So whatever the temples, what we see, and all these constructions are 
uh, a form of Balaram ji because he is the one who is manifesting the dham where the Lord can reside. And who is he? Paramatma. So in that way there is there is a whole uh, intricate understanding about Guru, Guru Tattva. Yeah, thanks Nathan. You have a question? Yes, so he is, uh, is uh, <coughs> the goal as you said, the happiness or uh, whatever is realizing for happiness, but there is they say curiosity has nothing to do with happiness. It, it is just curious how the things work or they want to find out something. Mm -hmm. So this is also something, some nature of the soul or it soul's nature is only... If curiosity thing. would have been painful, people would not have curiosity. Mm -hmm. Okay. We say it has, there is nothing which is done without a motive of happiness. Because by nature we are Ananda Bhyasya. Huh? So by nature we always want to seek happiness. Even in that curiosity, if we know that gives pain, mm -hmm. we will not have curiosity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When we know that we have to suffer, mm -hmm. do we have curiosity there? Mm -hmm. Curiosity we have because we hope that there, there will be some happiness coming from it. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, why will I waste my time? Uh, yes. Who was asking us extra hours, Rupa? If I have more hours, then I can do. Uh, I think Sagar Prabhu, right? Uh, yesterday we were just having some conversation and he was saying, Oh, how nice if I have few extra hours. Yeah, the curiosity or uh, if, if we think that we can really make best, we are ready to get more hours. If we think that this is suffering, why will we do that? We just say, No, 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 not for me. Curiosity. Any action, even if we are even if we are sitting idle, why are we sitting idle? That gives me happiness. If I'm doing something, why am I doing happiness? Without happiness, there is no question. There is no question of doing anything. Why? Because that activities, what we do, are driven by what? Happiness. Why? Because we are. Part and parcel of uh, Supreme Lord. I don't know if uh, uh, Sesai Prabhu is there. Yeah, he was asking one one day, what does it mean? Why we say part and parcel of the Supreme? Why not part or why not parcel? Hmm? Why part and parcel? Uh, we have the qualities that the Supreme Lord has in in a very infinitesimal portion. And what is that? Lord is Supreme Enjoyer, Purushottama. Yeah, yes. uh, today morning I was remembering my friend whose name is Purushottam Reddy. Uh, uh, just so nice he is. Uh, I think uh, that was the first guy who, whom I have a friend with that name. I met him and then always reminds me the Lord. Uh, not only him but the Lord. And uh, then I understand Purusha Uttama. Uh, we only are Purushas. But the Lord is Purushottam. But we are still Purushas. The question we say, hey, are we Prakriti? Well, one is, only one should be the enjoyer. No. All of us are enjoyers. Mm. But very, very infinitesimal. Why? Because the Lord reciprocates with what? Love. And uh, Srila Prabhupada mentions that because we are Tatastha Shakti, we can be enjoyers or we can be sufferers. It depends. If we give ourselves to material energy, then we get inferior because it's inferior energy. And because if we engage in service of the Lord, what are we getting? Bliss. Sachit Anand, right? What is that bliss we are getting? Oh, Lord, I'm happy that I could serve you. What is that? It's it's happiness. Yeah. I don't know if it answers your question. So curiosity also is driven by happiness. And people, if they are not doing something that is also driven by happiness, yeah, usually when we talk about Buddhism, where we say soham, let me sit, let me sit such a way that I will not think about anything. I will think only, only about. Okay, mm -hmm. in that thinking only, only there is already thinking, right? Mm -hmm. So it is like, uh, yeah, searching something for, yeah, by doing the research or something, uh, people think that uh, it will, the end result will be exciting and will give me happiness. Yeah, there is, without motivation we will not do anything. There is a strong motivation. Huh? 
there is a strong motivation mm-hmm. that the moment we get up in the morning there is some motivation to do something oh not another day uh, we may think even that there is what enjoying oh let me stay sleep sleep little longer uh, in everything there is there motivation Any last question? Any last one question? If not, then we're good to close. Okay, thank you. Panchakalpatrabhyascha kripa sindhu bevacha patitanam bhavanebhyo vaishnavebhyo namo namaha Kira Prabhupada ki shen